Hello, dear friends. Before I start today's video, I want to warn you that the device that we will be making today may be illegal in certain places. This is not an instruction, it is just a demonstration of how such items work and what can be done for a penny without the slightest skills in radio electronics. This video will be as informative as possible, so do not rewind it, because even every smallest detail is very important for its proper performance. So do not miss out why this device is made, how it is made correctly, and why it may not work for some people. And in order not to waste time, I will tell you what we will need to make it. I will need an aluminum profile of 15 by 15 mm and a metal thickness of 2 to 4 mm. Such profiles are sold in construction stores, but do not look for it in the departments with profiles and sheet metals. Immediately go to the place where you can buy abutment thresholds and profiles for tile masters. We will also need a high-voltage module, or so-called voltage converter. I will save a link to one of these models in the description below the video. Most often they are used for the manufacture of stun guns, but it works from 3 to 6 volts. And most importantly, they give out 600,000 volts. In general, this is a very powerful thing, but it will still need to be slightly modified. In the role of the case, I will use the old remote control from the TV, in which, in fact, there is already a connector for batteries, which greatly simplifies the design. First, we need to change the high-voltage module. It's a little worn out, but it's not a hindrance to us, because when we step back from the edge about 2 cm, we make an incision and break off the top part. There is no reason to worry, because the upper part is just a multiplier. And if it is not extracted, we will not actually succeed. We leave only the transformer. With the multiplier, as you can see, the spark bursts. But without it, we get something like high-frequency plasmas. Now we cut five pieces of aluminum profile with a length of three centimeters, and slightly around the corners. Next, at the edges of each profile, we make one hole with a small drill bit. This is necessary in order to make it easier to center the label in the future. Now we disassemble the remote control and leave only the battery case. We apply the first profile, put a label, make a hole, We expand them with a drill bit of a larger diameter and fasten them. We take a regular sheet of paper for the printer, fold it in half, apply the second profile as tightly as possible and make marks and then holes. 
The same operation should be performed five times, achieving a minimum gap between the profiles. In the end, the wires from the transformer is connected to the first and last profile. And the power that goes to it is started through the clock button so that when we pressed, our device is triggered. As a result, we have a very powerful and versatile device. This is not an easy panel radio jammer, and it can jam literally everything. At neighbors, in shopping centers, in shops and restaurants, literally everywhere at a distance of up to 50 meters, taking into account, of course, the location, exteriors, interference, you can jam Wi-Fi, radio, television, or even cellular communication. This device, of course, can help, or vice versa, bring inconvenience. So do not overuse it. If this device is not vital to you, then leave it a simple video tutorial on YouTube. And by the way, guys, the last video received very few comments, and if it's not difficult for you, let's catch up. Write as many comments as possible under this video, as it helps to promote the channel and also lifts my mood. Have a nice day, everyone, and thank you for watching this video. Bye-bye.